Hi, I'm Jim Webster, and today I'm going to walk you through our integration for iDev Affiliate with High Level. You know, we've been around for many, many years, and it's really fun to be able to do these integrations where we get to use all of the advanced features and functionality that iDev Affiliate has to offer. High Level happens to be one of the integrations that we have where we can do not only standard commission processing type stuff, where you've already got a lot of highly advanced uh, commissioning structures available to you, but we've also got things like coupon code commissioning that's available with this integration, as well as the ability for you to do uh, product level commission structures, meaning you can define specific commission rates for each product and or recurring subscription that you have. Speaking of which, we can do recurring commissions for your subscriptions. And we also have email relationships where you can define customer emails to affiliates. So anytime those customers place orders, the assigned or associated uh, affiliate will get the commission. So let's dive right into our new high level integration here. First thing you want to do here in IDEV Affiliate is go up here to tracking integration and go into our built in wizard. You're going to find in this drop down menu uh, several integrations. These are all the integrations we work with up here near the top in lead form landing page systems, lead form and landing page systems. You want to go to high level here. Go to the next page. We've now enabled it in IDEV Affiliate. And now what we want to do is view the integration instructions. And this will literally be your step-by-step uh, -step guide to integrating. And it's literally going to take you all of 30 seconds. This is a very long video. Uh, not very long, but it's several minutes long because we cover things like testing. But your actual completing the integration, tying the two systems together, should take you all of about 30 seconds. And that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to walk you through it. So uh, the first thing you want to do now that we've got it enabled in IDEV Affiliate is you want to come over to your high-level admin uh, dashboard and go to automation, find your workflow list. We've got ours here called test workflow. You want to create a new trigger for this workflow and you want to use order submitted. It should look just like this. So you're going to pick order submitted here in the drop down as the option and the workflow uh, trigger name can remain as order submitted. Save that trigger. Once you've got that trigger set up, we just need to add an action to it. And the action that you're going to add, I'll show you what it looks like sort of brand new. You want to use a webhook under actions here. You're going to choose webhook and then the URL we're going to give to you. I'm going to show you what this is going to look like. So after you have enabled the webhook, I renamed ours to be IDEV affiliate webhook. Just be in case you've got multiple webhooks, just kind of easy to identify. You can see it here um, that it's this is the IDEV affiliate specific webhook. And then you're going to pop this URL in here and you're going to get that over in your IDEV affiliate dashboard right here down in step number four. I've skipped. I've already done. So as I'm saying, it's going to take you 30 seconds. I've already skipped like three uh, steps here. So step number four, you're going to copy and paste this URL that we give you here. You're going to pop that right in here, hit save, and you're done. You are literally done. That's how long it took. You're just going to create that trigger, create that action, save it, make sure it's published and you're literally done. Now, if you're like me, want to see it to believe it, let's do some testing. We'll show you working in live action. And I think you should definitely do some testing as well to make sure you've got everything connected before you launch your affiliate program. Um, to do that, over in IDEV Affiliate, we want to, of course, create a uh, fictitious or a sample or a house affiliate account. You can do that yourself. Go to View Accounts. You can create yourself an account right here. Just go to Create an Account. Pop a new account in there really quick. We've got like almost 60,000 of them in here we can play with. Um, once you have your account created, you'll want to go and click on the marketing link that's presented to you here. Um, this is essentially you clicking on a marketing link. So we're replicating or simulating you being the customer by clicking on the affiliate marketing link. This is ensuring to us that when you go and place your sample purchase over or your, your test purchase over with high level that you are, you have been logged as a customer having come through an affiliate link, right? So this particular link happens to be for affiliate ID number 100. So click on that link. That'll open up a tracking log here. Um, so you'll, you should see your log entry here. And then once you've done that, all you need to do is go over to, uh, your, your form in high level where you place your order. I've already got this preloaded. This is a two-step checkout. The first step I've already preloaded with, um, you know, just name, address, email, stuff like that, just to make this video a little bit shorter. And you can see I'm in test mode. I'm just using a test credit card. 
So now that I've clicked on an affiliate link, again, we're emulating being a customer. So assuming I've clicked on an affiliate link, I've now been taken to your website. I'm now placing the order in high level. I'm about to complete that order and let's see what happens after I hit complete order. Okay, so we've completed the order. We're now at our confirmation page. And what we wanna do now is simply go over to IDEV Affiliate. Now in your, if this is a brand new um, instance of IDEV Affiliate that you're running, you probably have zero uh, pending commissions here. Um, you may have some in there from other, maybe you're an existing customer, you've already been do, using IDEV Affiliate with a different integration, so you might have commissions here. Um, but what you wanna do is come over here and click on pending approval, and this will give you a list of all your currently pending approval commissions. And you can see right off the bat, this very first entry here, look at that, it says, High level right here for the integration. I go to view the details. This is my order right here. This was the uh, customer. Remember I said I, I pre-filled out the form. These were the sample data here that I used. We've got our products purchased as IDEV affiliate test. And we've got a few things to look at here. So the order number is here. This came from high level. This is your date and time, customer IP, all that good stuff. Remember it was a $1 uh, purchase. You've got your uh, sale amount here, your integration. And it's got the, um, not only your conversion time, but it's also got your commission definition, which is basically telling you, how did we arrive at this commission amount? And it just so happens that this demo account is set to pay 12%. Um, so of course, 12% of $1 is, is a 12 cent commission. There you have it. You've got a high level commission sitting here, pending approval in your IDEV affiliate admin dashboard. Welcome to video number two in the IDEV Affiliate and High Level Integration Series. We have basically merged the advanced video into this main video as well for you. So you've got it all in one. So we just covered your standard commissioning processing stuff. We're going to now move into the advanced stuff like coupon codes and product level commissioning. What is coupon code commissioning? Coupon code commissioning is a really cool feature that allows you to assign a coupon code to an affiliate and the affiliate, anytime that coupon code is used, that affiliate will get a commission, okay? That's without having the need for an affiliate marketing link to be clicked on. Uh, it's great for things like word of mouth, flyers, brochures, business cards, something like that. But I can be out, let's say I'm talking to some friends, I say, Hey, Jane, go to this website. When you get there, just plug in this coupon code. They'll give you 10% off or whatever the discount is, right? Now, I didn't tell Jane when you get there, hey, make sure you tell them I'm an affiliate. Don't you have to put in my affiliate code? Uh, I didn't tell Jane anything. I literally just said, go to the website and put the coupon code in because I know when that coupon code is used, I'm going to get a commission. So it's a really neat, neat feature. So in order to use this, and it's not for everybody, um, but for those that want to use it, I'm going to show you how right now. So the first thing you want to do is obviously in high level is create a coupon code, just like you normally would, right? So you go to payments, coupons, create your coupon code. Once you've got it created, you're going to take the coupon code itself that you've created and you're gonna replicate it over in IDEV Affiliate and I'll show you where. Over in IDEV Affiliate, you wanna to go to commission settings, coupon code commissioning, and here you wanna pop that coupon code in here. Happens to be Corvette. You're gonna choose the affiliate to assign it to, could be any affiliate you want. Set the commission rate for the uh, for anytime this coupon code is used, because this is going to be an override to your standard payout level. So you can actually define a specific commission rate for this coupon code anytime it's used. So you can say, I want to make this uh, 18%, 15%, doesn't matter. Hit add, to, add the coupon code, and it'll appear over here in your list of coupon codes. There's 26,000 of them already, but and I've already done this prior to the video. So you'll see that if I search Corvette here, I've got Corvette here. It's already been added for this affiliate ID number 2008. So let's go ahead and do a new uh, test. Remember in our original video, we tested a commission to see how it was working. So let's go over here to our checkout form where I've already got everything pre-filled again. And you'll notice I've now got a coupon code applied. So let's go ahead and process this payment with the coupon code in here and see what happens. Okay, so the payment processed, we're back at our confirmation page again. It looks very similar to what we saw in our first video, only one exception. We've now got a coupon code applied and you can see our amount has changed obviously because it was a 10% coupon code on the $1. So now it's 90 cents instead of that $1. So let's see over an IDEV affiliate what has happened now. If I go to IDEV affiliate, go to my pending approvals list, you'll see we've got a new commission here. There's two of them from high level now. Uh, this is the uh, one that we got with the coupon code and you will see a few things here now. Number one, go back here real quick. 
the affiliate ID has changed, right? Because this was done on the original tracking log uh, that we I had you click on in the in video number one. That was affiliate ID number 100's affiliate ID. Now, if you'll remember correctly, we assigned that coupon code to affiliate ID 2008. So 2008 got this commission. Now you can, in the settings, flip it. You can say, if they both exists a tracking log and a coupon code, who should get credit? That's you know pretty standard features. You can decide who takes priority. Right now we've got our set to coupon code taking priority. So that's why 2008 got it. If I look at the details, a couple things um, that stand out from the original um, commission we looked at. Number one, our tracking method now is coupon code. And it even gives you the coupon code here in IDEV Affiliate that was used in high level. And it shows your, your new commission definition is now also reading coupon code. And it's uh, obviously it's using the 22% that we had set for the uh, coupon code. 22% is, uh, you know, 20 cents is 22% of 90 cents. So that is coupon code commissioning. And you what you can do is you can... Uh, assign as many or as little coupon codes as you want. You can give uh, each of your affiliates one coupon code. You can give some of your affiliates a coupon code. You can give a couple of your affiliates multiple coupon codes. So it's really at your discretion who wants who you want to get a, a coupon code. Again, it's not for everybody. Um, and, and there's lots of um, different reasons why you might may or may not give coupon codes to certain people. Lots of different theories and, and fun stuff you can play around with on that. But I just wanted to show you that it is available to you with our high level integration and that's how it works. All right, so let's dive into our next advanced commissioning structure, which is called per product commissioning or product level commissioning, whereby you can define a specific commission rate for each product or subscription that you're selling. So it's very cool and easy to be able to say, hey, this product over here I'm paying 10% on, this product I'm paying 12% on, this one we wanna pay 15% on, that one I wanna pay $5 flat rate on, Oh, and hey, guess what? This product over here, we don't want to pay commission on that at all. We want to exclude that from commissioning. You can do all of that with IDEV Affiliate. I'm going to show you how right now. So uh, first thing you want to do is go to your products. Go to payments, products. You'll have your list of products. I'm looking at my product here that we've been using for all these tests, the $1 test for IDEV Affiliate. You'll notice right here you have an pro uh, internal product ID. Go ahead and copy this ID. What you want to do is come over here to IDEV Affiliate. You want to go up here to commission settings and then per product commissioning here in this list. For the product ID or SKU, you're going to paste that right in. Now for our product amount, I happen to know it's $1. And I'm going to define my commission rate right here. I'm going to say on this one, I want 50% commission. Um, okay, so I'm going to add the product. And now I can look at all my products I've added. I can actually find that just by popping this in the, the search. Okay, so we know it's there. We can tell it's $1, 50%. It's going to pay a 50, uh, 50 cent commission. And again, excluding a product, I could actually pop this in and exclude this product too if I wanted to. That's where you would do this and this is where you'd have all your, your um, excluded products here. Anyways, now that we've got our product uh, added into IDEV Affiliate, let's go ahead and do another test like we've been doing. So I'm, I've already again got my form preloaded here uh, with uh, all the test data as to not bore you. So I will process, for, process this form and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I've processed the form. We're here at our confirmation page again. You'll notice our product price is $1 because that's what our product price is. There's no coupons on this one. Let's see what happened in IDEV Affiliate this time. If you'll remember correctly, there it is. There's our third commission here. So this commission here was our original test. That's just a standard straight up test using the uh, payout levels as defined. This was our coupon code commissioning test. And this is our third test here. Uh, so let's take a look at this one. If we look at the details, again, all looks very similar except a few things that we've been looking at. Number one is the uh, tracking method. We're back to IP because we're no longer on the um, we're no longer on the coupon code, right? So we're just using a, a, a straight up test um, of a product purchased. But you'll notice here commission definition. Look at this per product commissioning this time. And our commission amount is 50 cents. Why? Because remember, we set that product to be 50% of the $1. That's it. There's all, that's all there is to it. In your optional data, you've got your optional data here showing it was item affiliate test. You've got some little uh, basic information about the uh, customer name, customer email. And that's it. You can define unlimited products here, all of your products if you want, really. Um, and again, you can do excludes too. So that's how per product commissioning works. And again, if you have any questions, if you'd like to do a demo with us, if you'd like to uh, have us do an onboarding with you, get all this set up for you, we are happy to do so.